After the shocking collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, the country now grappling with the potential economic impacts of that fallen bridge. 12 News reporter Jake Holter continues our team coverage live in studio. Jake. Well, Kim and Mike, the Key Bridge served as a sort of gateway to the port of Baltimore with the remnants of the bridge. Now in the water, ships are blocked from going in and out and the port is closed until further notice. The collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge projected to have a significant impact on the supply chain. We're preparing for supply chain impacts that we know are coming because of the importance of this port, not just to the Baltimore region, uh, but really to the entire United States uh, economy. Just last month, the governor of Maryland announced the port of Baltimore hit new cargo records. He says the port ranks first among the nation's ports for volume of automobiles as well as heavy farming equipment. But now, no cargo ships are able to go in or out of the port. So immediately when you see a disaster like this happen and you see some kind of supply chain disruption, people often panic and they start to try to prepare and plan and figure out what they're going to do um, because their supplies are disrupted. And that is going to disrupt the entire supply chain. But what does that mean for us here in Rhode Island? That disruption uh, is expected to be minimal here in Rhode Island. Um, any kind of disruption might be in the automobile industry, um, but it's expected to be minimal because the car companies are already diverting their shipments along the East Coast. Logistics experts say East Coast ports have been investing billions to expand, which will help to cut the impact of the bridge collapse on shipping. General Motors and Ford are planning to redirect their shipments to other East Coast ports. Previously, Baltimore-bound cargo will be diverted to Norfolk, Savannah, and Brunswick, Georgia. And other products most impacted will be coal exports and sugar and gypsum imports, all of which staples of the port of Baltimore. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.